Hi, I am Ikanj Deep Gupta. I am from Chennai Mathematical Institute, and today I'll be talking about the well-structured problem for Pressburger counter machines. And this is joint work with Alan Finkel. The title has two things: well-structured problem and Pressburger counter machines. Uh, let's define the first one. Uh, so for that, I'll define well-structured transition systems. So an ordered transition system has a set of configurations. It has a transition relation and an ordering on the configurations. and it is uh, well structured if it satisfies two conditions the first one is that the ordering needs to be a well quasi order and the second one is called the monotony condition which is that if there's a transition from s1 to s1 prime and if i start from some configuration which is bigger than s1 then i should be able to reach some configuration which is bigger than s1 prime in the reachability relation uh, that is the monotony condition and there's a natural uh, stronger condition which is called strong monotony which imposes that it should be reachable in one step earlier it just needed to be reachable now it should be reachable in one step so these are respectively called the well structured and the strong well structured transition systems so this is quite a robust class of transition systems like all of these are examples petri nets vector addition systems all of these can be seen as wsts under appropriate uh, orderings and so the reason uh, this is studied is because the coverability problem is decidable on uh, wsts the coverability problem is given two configurations can you go from one to the to some configuration which is bigger than the other so it turns out this is decidable and there is like a backwards algorithm which came much earlier in 96 and there is a much more recent forward algorithm on downward closed sets which came in 2017 right so now we come to the motivation for the problem that we studied so suppose we are given a class of transition systems which is not uh, decidable in general the problem is not decidable but we were given a specific instance of the model and we want to check if the pro if the problem can be solved on this model so if the model is nice enough if it satisfies monotony then we can use the results on well structured transition systems for this model so for example this minsky machine if you look it satisfies strong monotony so we can solve the coverability problem etc on this so we wanted to come up with these sorts of things so the question we asked was given a transition system can we check whether it is well structured or not so that is the well structured problem and correspondingly the strong well structured problem whether it is strongly monotonous so these are the problems now let's introduce a model okay so Pressburger arithmetic, uh, everyone knows, I'm sure. It's the first order fragment over natural numbers with addition, right? So these are just some formula you can write. You can check divisibility, multiplication by constants, and so on. And yeah, turns out it's quite a nice logic. Firstly, because it is decidable. That is given a formula in Pressburger, you can check whether it's valid or not. And this is shown by uh, quantifier elimination on the formula. where by you add uh, modulus operators and yeah and the second thing is this is quite expressive in the uh, for counter systems so the formal model is that you have d counters some number of counters you have some states and your transitions are labeled by formulae which have twice the number of free variables the first copy is for the the value before the transition and the second copy is for the ones after so this is an example of a Presburg counter machine the formula x prime equals 19 minus x and so on so for instance this is a sample run you can start with the counter 0 and then take the loop and go to 19 and so on so this is these are quite simple formula you can express quite complicated things as well uh, in presburg but so this is like a recurring example we'll see this later on as well right you know tests ah uh, no no this is like quite a simple model but yeah you can have zero test you can check divisibility and so on you can have quite complicated thing you have god yeah yeah you can express quite a lot of you can express guards and everything in pressburger right so we look at pressburger counter machines and we also look at like a lot of sub classes of those so one is functional counter machines where each formula each transition formula is a partial function like each input has at most one output then there's minsky machines these can also be expressed as pressburger counter machines where you have translations or zero tests then affine was this is uh, quite a well studied uh, model where all the transitions are of the form x prime equals ax plus b where a and b are matrices 
Note that we are allowing negative values in the matrices as well. And since uh, we can multiply by constants and so on in Pressburger arithmetic, this is also like Pressburger expressible. And then we look at some restrictions of affine VAS, which is positive VAS. And here we only allow positive values in the matrix, whereas earlier we allowed negative values as well. And then we have totally positive VAS, which is another restriction where we say that OB can also only be positive. So these are all the uh, classes of models that we look at. And then these are the results that we have. So we look at the well-structured problem and the strong well-structured problem for all of these classes. So it turns out well-structured problem is quite hard. It is undecidable for most of the classes that we look at. Uh, but we do have decidability for this model, which is one AVAS. So we have one counter and affine transitions. And the results highlighted are the ones I'll be discussing in this talk. For the other results, you can check out the paper. And okay, so the, I'll get the strong well-structured problem out of the way first. So it turns out a uh, strong well-structured problem is decidable for all classes because strong well-structuredness is sort of a local property. Like whether the, if there's a one-step transition, then we want another one-step transition. So, and that is Pressburger expressible. So we can check validity of that formula and you can decide it for all classes. The well-structured problem on the other hand is quite hard. So, okay, so first we look at this result that given a uh, one PCM, we'll restrict it to one counter with uh, Pressburger transitions, we'll show the undecidability of the problem. Okay. So the undecidability, the reduction goes from Minsky machine reachability, right? So uh, given a Minsky machine, we'll construct a one counter PCM such that it is well structured if and only if all states are reachable in the Minsky machine, right? And so here we have just one counter in our counter machine, in, in our Pressburger machine, whereas we have two counters. So basically we encode it using the Godel encoding whereby we store the values of the counters in the exponents for two and three, right? Uh, so note that this allows us to multiply by arbitrary constants, arbitrary large constants, and that is sort of key for getting the reduction right. So since the other factors don't matter, we only care about the exponent of two and three, uh, we can define sort of an equivalence relation on the configurations of the one PCM, uh, where two values of the counter are equal if their exponent of two and three are the same, right? So now I'll just show the reduction uh, on an example. So suppose this is the Minsky machine that we have with two counters C1, C2, and you have some this thing. So the corresponding one PCM will sort of simulate the uh, Minsky machine with a Pressburger machine. So you start with the same set of states, then you add the corresponding relations which simulate the counter operations. So for instance, incrementing the first counter corresponds to incrementing the exponent of two so you multiply by two here. Similarly, decrementing corresponds to division. Now, these are not Pressburger formula, but you can write equivalent Pressburger formula, so that's fine. And zero tests corresponds to checking divisibility by two. So the, this is the guards that you can have guards like this, right? And so this is not sufficient. This is just a simulation of this thing. And then we add two more classes of transition, uh, of transitions, yeah. So when we add the red transitions, so from every state to the initial state, we add a transition labeled by this formula phi. So what phi does is, it allows you to jump back to the initial uh, state while resetting the exponent of two and three. So you can jump to any value which is not divisible by two and three. So this sort of corresponds to like a counter reset. And since you're going back to the initial configuration and resetting a counter, this does not affect the reachability relation in the simulation that we have. Right, but it does allow you to jump to arbitrarily large values, and that is sort of key. So, if you add these transitions, it gives you this property that if all states in M are reachable, then N will be a well structured transition system. And uh, the way to see that is suppose I want to reach from Q1 to Q2 and I want to cover Q2, N, for instance, then what I can do is I can jump from Q1 to Q0 with an arbitrarily large value which is greater than n. And then since q2 will be reachable in q0 by the hypothesis, then I can just follow that reachability path and I will get an, a larger value than n. So if all states in m are reachable, then n will be a well-structured transition system if I add these transitions. 
and the second class of transitions that we add is it's simple it only allows the transition if both the initial and the final values are zero now note that here our initial value will be one and no transition allows you to reach a zero uh, the your counter value to be zero right because you only have division multiplication and uh, checking for divisibility and so on right so the blue transitions they can never actually be taken in the counter machine however they give you the property that if this is well structured then uh, then all states will be reachable and uh, that is also easy to see because suppose uh, because you have q0 0 to q10 right and therefore if n has to be a well structured transition system then if you start from q0 comma 1 which is the initial configuration then there should be a way to reach q1 and same for all the other states so upon adding the blue transitions you get the property that if this is a well structured transition system then all the states have to be reachable so this is the reduction that we have and so what we've shown is we've taken a minsky machine and converted it to a one pcm such that this is a, a well structured transition system if and only if all states here are reachable so that gives you that the problem is undecidable for uh, one pcm right and the same is true for all these other classes the proofs get sort of complicated but the idea is the same so you can check it out right so the, the well structured problem is also undecidable for functional one pcms note that this reduction is not functional because the formula phi is not a function it is independent of the input right but there's a way to do it such that you get undecidability for functional one pcms as well then for two counter minsky machines and two avas also you get undecidability right so right now we just proved this result the undecidability of the problem for one pcms right and now we look at the one the decidability result for one avas okay so i'll go over the model quickly once again so the model is this you have one counter and all your transitions look like x prime equals ax plus b some linear thing and a and b can obviously be not negative or whatever right so this is the model again this is the example that we'll use so note that this is not this is stronger than a vas because in vector addition systems you can't have transitions like this you can't have 19 minus x so these are not just trans translations you can have negative transitions as well right and so one of us have the following properties they're, they're they have been studied before unsurprisingly so reachability and coverability are decidable which was shown in a paper in 2013 but what we do is we give we come up with an algorithm which can take a configuration and compute the pre star of that configuration by pre star i mean the set of configurations can reach this configuration so uh, we show that this set itself is also computable so if you have this then obviously you can see that reachability and coverability are decidable because you can just check membership in the set and so on and not only is it computable it is also pressburger expressible this set and we use this property that the pre star set is computable to come up with the decidability result for the well structured problem uh, we'll see how right so the pre star algorithm the one which computes the pre star so suppose we want to compute the pre star of qf and nf the, the configuration qf and f then well you see some things that uh, these are some of the key observations which allow you to get the algorithm to work and the first thing is that the set will always be pressburger expressible so if you try to compute it with the pressburger formula that is sufficient like you won't keep discovering new values and so on the second is that given a cycle in a one of us you can compute sort of the back acceleration of it so what i mean by that is you can compute all the sets all the configurations which can reach your configuration while using the cycle some arbitrary number of times right and the third thing is that computing these back accelerations is sufficient that is like if you're so our, our algorithm is a backtracking algorithm and if you keep backtracking like this then you will eventually uh, compute the entire reach pre the pre star set that is uh, you cannot get into a state where you keep backtracking and you keep discovering more and more values like that won't happen the computation will stop and these are sort of the main things and i mean we prove them they're not they're sort of tricky to prove but yeah and once you have these things then the algorithm is the the simplest thing that you can think of that is you store a pressburger formula for each state 
and then you just backtrack and from results like this we know that that is sufficient. So we'll compute all the back accelerations of the cycle and given a transition we'll just compute the backtrack from that and that is sufficient. So proving that termination and so on is slightly wonky but yeah. So okay that is the main thing. So I'll just run the algorithm on an example to give you. Okay so suppose I want to compute pre star of q119. So we start with formula phi1 and phi2 for states q1 and q2. Right, and we initialize phi2 as bottom and phi1 as n equals 19 because we want to reach q119. Then if we compute the back acceleration of this cycle, we'll get 19 and 0 because 0 can also take it. And if we compute the back from this, we'll get 19 and 0 in this, in phi2. Because from q2, you can start with 19 or 0 and reach the configuration that you want. Right, and then if we compute back accelerations of this cycle, then we will get this that any value which is greater than 19 and which is 1 mod 3 you can take this uh, cycle arbitrarily many times and you can again reach this thing right and then we just keep going we take this so the values here get translated and you get them in phi 1 because of this transition and then yeah you just keep going and then yeah eventually you will get to a state where Explore, backtracking from anywhere won't get you new values and that is when you stop right so this is the algorithm which computes the pre star okay so now we just we're at the well structured problem uh, so the result is that the problem is decidable and the way we show that is okay so given a transition if the transition is a translation like if it's a positive transition that is okay so by a positive transition I mean one where a is greater than equal to 0 like x prime equals a x plus b if a is positive I call it a positive transition and the result and the thing is positive transitions are already monotone that is if you can go from some counter value and using that and you start with some bigger counter value then you can already reach a bigger value so that is fine like that won't violate well structuredness right but for negative transitions uh, we make the observation so, so for instance if this is a negative transition then uh, if you start with q10 then you can reach q to 5 right so for this thing to be well structured what that means is if you start from q1 comma any number n then you should be able to reach something greater than 5 right and the way we formulate that is that if we compute the pre star of upward closure of q2 comma b then q1 cross n should be a subset of that that is from any q1 comma any number you should be able to reach this set q2 comma upper closure of b and this is obviously necessary for it to be uh, well structured turns out this is also sufficient so the decidability result is as follows you look at all the negative transitions in your transition system and then you check that all of them should satisfy this property that if this is the negative transition then th this should be the case and if that is the case then the transition system will be well structured and so that allows us to decide well structuredness so that is all I have and so some further questions uh, that need to be explored are so the complexity analysis of the problem like we have a pre star algorithm but getting the complexity bounds and that is slightly hard we're still looking at it so that is one thing that can be done and the other thing is of course extending the problem to other models that uh, you can look at the same problem well structured problem for push down machines, FIFA automata, extensions of Petri nets and so on. So these are things that we are working on right now and that's all. So for, for well structured position system, there is a, some variant for the future. We have a, some longer, for instance, uh, you can say in one step, you can do one step, and I can simulate in one step, get the number of the name of the I mean, the reason that you the star, I'm saying that the yeah. is that is a strong, strong way structure. So, so for strong, uh, for the strong property, yeah. I think uh, this idea, if it's well structured, is uh, slightly different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you, the strong well structured property is decidable for everything, and the way we do that is we encode it as a just global formula. Yes. So, so it is strong. Uh, so, if you look at the machine, somehow you. Uh, you extend uh, the semantics of uh, the computer automata by 
and to show it, condition relations are given by the test formula. Yeah. But the relation on the configuration is always the same, it's component wise, uh, compartmentalized wise your configurations. I'm wondering if it's possible to replace this relation by a press order defined relation. The question is, does there exist a press order formula such that your system is strong and well structured? So if you have a press order filter machine, yeah. we would like to know if it is strong and well structured, but not for the usual order. Because oh, okay. maybe it's not true in general, it's too strong. Yeah. It's not possible. But for an order that's explicable in the press order algorithm. So actually that is something that we started looking at. Uh, we have we don't have any results for that yet. But yeah, that is something that can be done. And we don't have any results yet. And the forward direction also not the post. Uh, so the post thing will not be uh, Pressburger expressible because you can simply have some some loop which just multiplies in between, right? And then that will be the power of the two which is not Pressburger expressible. So the post star is not Pressburger expressible. So I don't know. But pre star certainly is. Like, That's why we looked at pre star instead of post star. Thank you.